back in Pet Catchers, the game that I called the new pet simulator. And everybody got really mad. Obviously, you guys know that was just a title. I mean, it is a simulator involving pets, but I'm not saying it's better than Pet Sim 99 or anything. We all know that that's the main game I play right now, and it's dominating the genre. But this game is a fair competitor, and I think it's really cool, and it's not the same kind of game, so it, it can live on its own. What is this? Wait. What is this? I've never seen one of these. Okay, so I'm going to use this. This is 100% chance of getting it. But we just caught a super, super rare pet. I don't know what that was. You discovered a Frigidus. Dude. So if you haven't played this game before, it's essentially like a pet simulator game, but the pets are not in eggs. They're kind of just floating around. You have to go up to them, capture them, and um, they can be shiny, and they can also be a bunch of different rarities. I'm going to go ahead and claim these shrines right here to give me some awesome rewards. But uh, yeah, there's tons of awesome pets to collect and stuff. But what's really cool is like you just saw, a super rare one can spawn. And that's when you get, well, the super rare ones. So we're going to try to get ourselves an insanely OP pet today. We're going to go through the game and actually like make it end game this time. We didn't make it end game last time. We just kind of like, um, we just kind of went through and got a little taste of the game. But now we're actually going to start boss fighting, fishing, and more. So if you guys are excited for today's video, make sure you smash that like button, subscribe if you're new, and hit that notification bell numbers a video. And if you have any like tips and tricks and things that I should be doing, let me know. Also, I've seen a bunch of comments about my nails, and the reason I painted them is because I, I think it looks cool. I just think it looks cool, guys, okay? That's why I did it. So <laughs> you can do what you want, and I can do what I want. <laughs> Anyways, we're in this snowy area. So in some of the areas, there's actually enemies you fight. Like, I'm fighting snowmen right here, and I actually took damage. But my pets fight for me. I don't think you can fight yourself. Your pets will fight for you. And the stronger they are, obviously, the more damage you do. Oh, I have fortune enabled, so I get two times more gems for 15 minutes. That's pretty cool. But here is the next quest. So we're going to talk to this quest guy, the ski sloper, the ski patrol. Oh, look who's here. Fancy hitting the slopes. You need a ski pass. Wait, you actually have to get a ski pass. That's sick. So I like this. They, they add little quests, kind of like Pet Sim 99, where... You really have to do certain things to get certain places, but it's not like super tedious or hard. It just makes the game feel more like a role-playing game rather than just a simulator, which I really, really like. Oh, I thought that Hydra was in the wild. Also, I love this little button thing. Like they randomly place buttons in some areas and you press it. And then like all this stuff happens where you have to like, um, where you can go get a chest or something. It's really cool. So we're going to go ahead and catch this penguin and uh, wait, return to the blacksmith. Oh, I do have to return to the blacksmith. I completed something. Okay, let's return to the blacksmith first. I'm going to use my uh, my hoverboard, aka jetpack. It goes really fast. We're going to talk to this guy real quick just to complete this quest line. I think we did it. Oh, there's another one. Oh, this is it. This is actually unlocking the bosses. So this is what I wanted to uh, this is what I wanted to try today. I wanted to see what the bossing is like. So, we're going to hop right in there. Oh, I didn't get this teleport thing. I love that too. You have to claim the beacons, which means you can now teleport to them. Did I do this one? I'm not sure if I claimed this one. Oh, I did. Okay. So yeah, you have to like claim these beacons when you get to an area and that'll let you teleport to them, which is super cool. We're going to go boss fight the slime. So this is my team. That's the rewards. Let's hop in. And there he is. The king slime. So my pets will just start fighting and I think I'll just start taking damage. Like I don't think I can do anything except for dodge. Oh, we have to dodge that ring. Okay. We got to dodge that ring. Yep. There we go. Easy. Oh, wait. My pets are... Ah! My pets are doing a lot of damage, but he's invincible right now. Oh, oh my God. Okay. Don't forget to like the video if you guys haven't already. And if you burst these bosses and stuff, let me know what the hardest boss is. We killed it. We actually beat it. Okay. We do have kind of OP pets because we bought like this overlord, but still that wasn't too bad. So we beat him. We got a victory and let's see what the items we achieved are. We got ourselves a ticket. I don't know what that does. 75 stars. I think that's for leveling up. A lot of coins and a lot of those. So what, what is that actually? Oh, you can actually respawn it or use your item to get it to come back right away. But I'm curious what this... I'm, that was so loud. I'm curious what these items are. Like I ended up getting a four-star item, but I don't know what it was exactly. So we're going to have to look into that. Um, but let's go to the next area because this is where... Wait, Return of the Blacksmith. Oh, we did complete the last quest. That was it right there. Now, wait. Oh, there's more? Wait, cra oh, now we're crafting. 
Wait. Oh, I see. Okay, so now we're actually crafting, and he wants us to craft rare cubes. So let's craft seven of them. Let's hit finish, because you can actually just skip it for 74 Robux, so why not? Bam. I like that. You can actually craft stuff. That's so cool. Okay, so that was the last thing from the blacksmith, but now that I unlocked crafting, we can craft anything. Look, mystery eggs. We can actually craft a bunch of these. I kind of want to craft a mystery egg. Oh, yeah, dude. We just, we just crafted an egg. That's amazing. And then where does the egg go? Is it in my inventory? The egg goes here. How do I hatch it? Use. There it is. There's the mystery egg. What do we got here? Oh, a little squirrel. <laughs> All right, we're out of mystery eggs. So now let's go back to this Arctic Frosty Peaks and we'll claim ourselves this... Uh, well, we'll finish... Wait. Follow the footprints. Oh! Oh! It's like a little secret. So this guy is giving me the quest now. Earn 5,000 coins. Pretty easy. We can... Uh, wait, do you get coins for capturing or fighting? I think Volt, actually. So let's capture this. And then we get coins, and then we can talk to the Magma Fiend. Ha-ha! Hey, buddy. Bing. Okay, now we need to return Mayor Bling's golden comb. Where's Mayor Bling? Oh, here he is. Bing. There you go. Speak to Ski Patrol. See, it's literally like a role-playing game with a lot of quests and stuff. But you can also get super rare pets and all that. So, now I think I just get on the, the ski thing, right? Like, now I think I can I can go here. Oh, I don't even actually get on it. I just I just walk past it. <laughs> so here's the fishing loot. I still haven't fished. I still haven't gone fishing. We will definitely do that. Oh, these armored snowmen are a little bit stronger. Um, auto delete. Oh, here's fishing. Okay, I guess I'll try it. So we cast. And then do you have to do anything? Oh, I got a fish. Oh, so it'll just auto. You don't actually have to do anything. That's nice. Wait, did I already get this auto delete? Oh, it's a game pass, I think. Is it? I think I already have it, so... What's this? What the heck is this? Okay, so this is the bra thing. Remember how they did this in Bubblegum Sim, where the bra... The bra dog or whatever? That guy is there, and uh, we have to catch 10 commons, and there's some commons right here. 10 commons and 4 rares. Now, this... this part right here is a little bit slow. Once you... Once you get a lot of pets, it kind of gets a little bit slow, so... I'm wondering if there's a way they can speed this up or add like a skip button. It's not like that long. Like it takes like two seconds to catch a pet, but it's kind of like when you're in the zone and you're trying to complete this quest real quick, it's kind of like, I wish I could just, I wish I could just throw my Pokeballs or whatever in the overworld. Um, kind of like Pal World. I, I, I wish that's how the game worked. And I actually wanted to make a pet catching game that kind of worked like that, but you know, it is what it is. But let's grab our fourth rare pet. Wait, was that a rare pet? I don't even know what that was, actually. And then we'll grab this guy right here. That's a common, surely. So we'll complete this quest real quick, and then we will have enough to continue this quest line. Okay, we just got all these multipliers, too, which is really cool. Plus one mob drops, 1.25 coin multiplier, one more pet equipped, and 50 health. So getting your health up is really important as a character. I don't know if you can, like, upgrade your stats any other way, but it's really important to upgrade those stats because when you fight the bosses... You literally just, uh, you literally just are dodging, and the pets fight for you. So you need to have a lot of help. You get some pretty good rewards from this. I forgot where I was over here, and I don't know how many areas there are. That's the only thing. Like I don't know if I'm like almost finished with the game technically, but what I want to do is I do want to stream the game once I'm a little bit like end game. Did I already get this beacon? I did. Um, once I'm end game, I do want to. Um, wait, can you click and do damage? You can't. So you just got to dodge and stuff, I think. I don't think you can do anything. That's that's crazy. Oh, I'm going to use a coin elixir. Yeah, let's use that. All right, so we defeated four. We defeated three. They're kind of tough. These guys are actually kind of tough. Should we open eggs while we're fighting? So they're going to fight them while I open these. Is it still fighting for me? I actually don't know. The tenth one, and we did it. So now we return to Bra again. How many quests is he going to make us do? Oh, gosh. Bruh bounty. Catch 10 pets. Oh, that's easy. That's so easy. Oh, and here's the... Wait, so let's use the beacon and see how many areas there are because I'm curious. So we've been to all these areas, right? We started at Pet Park. We got a few areas unlocked. Oh, wow. Yeah, there's a good amount. So we're not quite there yet. But, you know, we got to catch these 10 pets real quick. Look, look at that. A shiny monkey has spawned in Sunset Stores. 
Sun Sunset stores? Sunset shores. <coughs> okay, so how do we get to Sunset Shores? Is that over here? Wait, where is that? Sunset. Sunset. Wait, where's Sunset Shores? That it's, it's the one that I don't even have unlocked, right? Oh, I do have it unlocked, but I just don't have the teleport. So there's a shiny monkey somewhere that just spawned. And it'll tell you. It'll alert you when a shiny spawns. Where is it? And does only one person get to claim it? Like, if somebody already finds it, do they just get it? How does that work? I don't see it. Wait. I don't see it anywhere. Yeah, I don't know if somebody already claimed it or what, but... Dang. So that's what happens. It'll say there's a shiny. So it's probably best to play in a VIP server. Wait. Oh my god, there it is! I just found a shiny! Okay. Uh, it's super rare chance right now. Let's do it. Okay, shiny monkey. We caught it! We just got our first shiny. So it's literally like a timed event. You'll find them, and there they are. So their stats are going to be increased by two. They can have one more charms, and they're just super rare. So that is the shiny. Whoa, look at that guy's pet. Sea champion. But that is freaking awesome. So we unlocked the new beacon, and we got ourselves a shiny. Now, we didn't complete this bra bounty yet. We're still working on that. So, so wait. A legendary unicorn spawned in Auburn Woods. Okay, let's go back there. See if we can get this unicorn. I like that because it just makes the game a little bit more exciting. Like, you're just playing it, doing quests, and then all of a sudden, oh, something spawned over there. Oh, I got to go over there. And it makes, like, old areas, like, make sense to go to. That's what I wanted to do with my game, and I'm still working on with our Pet Snap game. Um, so, uh, yeah, we, we, we like the idea of, like, those live events, things happening in game. Oh, I got to go over this, this area and, like, go back and get this. That's really cool. So, now I think we have 10 pets. We can go talk to Bra here. Oh, wait, one more. Now we go talk to Bra, and we complete this quest finally. Pretty low, I can't even lie, but it does look like uh, we just completed it. So now we can talk to Bra again. Nine slimes, three enemies. So these still count as enemies, but the slimes are back. They want me to go. Why, why does Bra want me to go all the way back there? Well, let's get the three from right here. There's our three. But now we need to defeat slimes. Oh, wait, what about that legendary? Oh, and also there's a button there. Okay, we got to do both of those. Here's the slime, so we'll go ahead and fight those. But where did it say the legendary spawned again? I can't remember. It was a legendary unicorn. Was it here? I don't remember what the area was, but I don't see it here. Let's uh, just... Oh, there it is. That's it right there. That's the unicorn. So a legendary spawn. It's only there for 20 more seconds. We got to catch this. Come on. Yes. So we just got a shiny and we just got a legendary. I am okay with both of those things. A shiny legendary though, that would have been kind of crazy. But let's go back to Bra. That's what these beacons are for. Now we can go straight over where we were. Actually, this isn't even where Bra is, but we can go back one and talk to him. And I think this is the final quest for Bra. We'll be moving on. There's so many more places though. The 13 enemies. Bra, literally, bra. Emperor Penguin spawned in Frosty Peak, so we got to go to that. But we're just fighting some enemies right now because uh, we need to do that for the bra quest. I can't believe how behind we are on this bra quest. Oh, we just got another shrine with... <gasps> that gave us so many. Wait, and there's a diamond one here. But then there's also a gem trader where you use gems for rare items. And then there's also... You can sell your fish. I haven't gone fishing, but that's kind of what you do with the fish. You just buy them, or you just uh, fish for them, and then you can sell them. Catch every fish to earn Sea Champion. <gasps> oh, that's sick. Okay, we need to grab this. We're getting the silver fishing rod, and that's going to allow us to catch better fish. And also, if I catch every fish here, I get the Sea Champion. Let's talk to this guy and get this quest line started. So now we have to do this quest, but I also... Um, I also want to defeat more enemies forever. So I would say just do it while you're doing other quests so you can do multiple at a time. But yeah, this is basically fishing. You just go here, you cast it. And since I have a better fishing rod, I should get bonus loot and stuff. Nope, it didn't happen. <laughs> oh, I think it just has a chance. Can catch legendary fish and bonus loot. So yeah, I'm not getting anything good, but you can. I wonder if they have like bait that you can use to kind of like up your chances. I'm sure there's rarity upgrades, but... Let's uh, catch some more of these for the bro bounty and catch two more for the sailor. Sturgeon. So I got a pretty good fish that time. And now I caught five for the sailor's request. And I've almost completed this one anyway. So we'll do this bro quest real quick. But we ended up getting a legendary and a shiny 
which is pretty sick. Oh, didn't they say there was a, a legendary that spawned here? Maybe it's gone by now. Found it. I found it. There it is. There it is. Okay, we just found a shiny and a legendary. This literally looks like a shiny legendary. It's not. It despawns so quick. Wait. Oh, God. Come on. Yes. That was big. We got an emperor penguin, dude. That's amazing. Okay, we're in there. Frog quests actually literally never end. And you have to defeat 26 snowmen, which are the snowmen from back here. Not even the armored ones count. This guy, bruh, just wants me doing stuff all day. Wait, what's this? Oh, what the heck was that? It was like a mysterious rainbow slime and it gave me stuff. That's pretty sick. It's crazy. Brock quest must give you something insane at the end because I'm still not finished with it. I've done it so much, but here's a new pet that I don't think I have, this panda. I kind of want to collect all of them eventually. So I'm definitely going to do some videos and streams where we like try to collect all the pets. But for now, I'm just trying to get through the game. And uh, I think we did pretty good. We got a legendary. We got a shiny. And we got a super legendary. That's not really true. But we got something really crazy, that Emperor Penguin. And uh, we got a, a lot of really good stuff. So I think I'm going to be streaming this game later today. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, smash that like, subscribe if you're new. And uh, we're going to see if we can get some crazy stuff happening. Still, obviously, playing Pet Sim and other games. I just This game just came out, and I wanted to check it out. And it's been really fun. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, like the video, subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!